having a great day and are doing well. I have a BD haul that I want to share with you. Um, to be honest with you, there was nothing I really needed in the world of beauty, but there was a lot of stuff I wanted and I did indulge. I've had a lot of this stuff for a while. Uh, most of it was purchased when um, Ebates was having the 16% cash back to celebrate their 16 year anniversary so there was a lot of things I just couldn't resist and I am going on a trip so I wanted to pick up a few beauty items for my trip I leave in six days it's coming up Saturday super excited so let's go ahead and jump into this haul first couple of products I want to show you I purchased from Ulta and Ulta had a really great um, like beauty lunch break if you spent $50 you got this bag of lipsticks and I believe this had a value of $50. Four of the items in here are full size and two are like deluxe sample sizes. So I want to go ahead and show you those. And since there were some items I knew I wanted to purchase, I thought it was a great time to buy. Plus, you know, get some Ebates and some free lippies. I just couldn't resist. So in this little free set, you get a deluxe sample of the Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie Lip Gloss and Spark Plug. Let me take it out the box. I haven't even really looked at this because I've been saving it to show you. This looks like it's going to be a really pretty, like, neutrally kind of pink shade. It looks like this got a full size of the Neutrogena Moisture Smooth Color Stick in Fresh Papaya. Looks like a really pretty like pinky orange shade. This is a Picture Perfect Lip Primer from Cargo. This is a deluxe size. There was the Essence XXXL Shine Lip Gloss. This is in the shade... I don't know what shade it is because I'm not seeing a, a name of the shade on it but this is how it looks kind of pinky frosty metallic shade also a full size of the nyx butter gloss in peach cobbler i really do love these glosses and i don't think i have this shade size of the rimmel london show off lip lacquer in nova and the last freebie item, just replacing a $50 order from Ulta, is this long wearing lipstick for L'Oreal. I don't remember the name, so I'll have it somewhere in this video. And I've seen this retail up for up to like 13 bucks. And this is the shade Permanent Blush. And I got those lippies completely free just for making a $50 purchase. So sometimes it really does pay to shop online because I know if I walked in store, I wasn't going to get this good of a deal items I have to pay for. First up is the Laura Geller Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminizer. I got this in the shade Ballerina because if you watched my May faves I talked about that eyeshadow. I believe it's called Honey. So I figured I probably already have a shade similar to the Gilded Honey shade. This is Ballerina and it is a really pretty highlight. I will swatch this for you. So there is Ballerina Swatch. Isn't that gorgeous? Also from Laura Geller, I picked up the Cream Shears Hydrating Lip Color Kit. You get three full-size lip shears in here. Um, I won't take them out or swatch them because one, I don't want this video to be too long, and two, I will have a Smack Talking Saturday on these. But this was only 15 bucks, so I thought that was a really great deal. Up the Mario Badescu Facial Spray with Aloe Herbs and Rose Water. I've heard a lot of great things about this spray. It was only seven bucks, so I definitely wanted to give that a try. But lastly from Ulta, I've never heard of this brand before. It's called Nip and Fab. I picked up the Glycolic Scrub Fix and it looks like this. And if you've ever tried this brand, um, please share your thoughts with me down below because this will be the first product I'm trying from the line, but it looked interesting. Next couple of items I picked up, I purchased from Nordstrom's. Again, I got them with 16% cash back. And these are all part of the MAC Summer Collection. I can't remember what the Summer Collection is called. Oh, it's Wash and Dry. The MAC Wash and Dry Collection. I picked up one of the blushes in Hipness. This is the packaging, which I know this is old news by now, but this is the packaging. And I will take out the blush just so you can take a look at it. And I haven't swatched any of this stuff. It's just been kind of sitting. Okay, so 
there is the blush called Hypnus. And a lot of these items are still available if you go to Nordstrom's.com. Um, I saw both the blushes, the eyeshadow. The only thing that was sold out was the highlighter. So let's swatch this. Okay, so there is the blush right there, and I think that's really pretty. I like that. Up uh, one of the lipsticks from the Wash and Dry collection, and I picked it up in steam heat. I believe that this was a limited edition shade. Again, the box, really pretty lipstick tube really pretty and I like these special tubes because that way I don't have to guess what colors in it I already know but I do like last year's better their packaging I believe it was the alluring aquatics that packaging to me was really pretty so this is how steam heat looks in its tube there is steam heat swatch this is beautiful it reminds me of like a strawberry like a fresh strawberry shade so happy I picked this up last from the wash and dry collection i did grab the highlight powder and freshen up and again like i said i know that you've already seen this but this is how it looks in its packaging and i will open it just so you can get a better look for the billionth of time but yeah i just thought that was really beautiful and even though that there's a gold overspray over this, I still figure it'd make a really pretty blush on my skin tone. The last item I picked up from Nordstrom's is still a MAC product, but it's not like a limited edition collection. This is their MAC Mineralized Blush in Lovejoy, and I love this. Like, I'm wearing it today, and ever since I purchased it, I have been wearing it. I feel like this is a shade of blush that just looks good on everybody. I don't know if you can see that swatch. It's like a pinky, neutrally brown. It's just gorgeous. Let me find a place to swatch. There it is right there. And it just gives you this really pretty glow. It's a really pretty shade. I highly suggest swatching it and seeing how you think it looks against your skin tone. Recently made my first purchase from Makeup Geek. I picked up six eyeshadows. I have them housed in this Sephora Z palette that I purchased for them. They have the small size and they have the large size. I decided to get both Z palettes to start housing my eyeshadows. But I picked up these six and I picked up the shades. The shade called Taupe Notch. Picked up the shade called Frappe. The shade is called Creme Brulee. The shade is called Corrupt. The shade called Cocoa Bear. And lastly, I picked up the shade Glamorous. I am going to swatch this one for you because it's absolutely gorgeous. Can you see that gold shade? It's on top of that Lovejoy, but do you see that? Hopefully you can. Let me hold my arm better. Let me give you a better swatch. There is Glamorous. It is a gorgeous shade. So hopefully, if I don't do it before I leave to go on vacation, I will have a review on these probably a written review on the blog um, after I come back if I don't get a chance to do it before I leave. A couple items come from Carol's Daughter. Um, I really do love the almond cookie line from them and I am a member so uh, members get 10% every day and free shipping but they were doing 20% off for members plus if you spent $30 you could t save $10 or take $10 off your order plus they were 16% cash back and they were giving away a full-size item so when all is said and done including um, how much money I received through Ebates the next five items I'm going to show you I only paid like $17 for so the set I picked up from Carol's Daughter um, included the Almond Cookie Sulfate Free Cleansing Gel. And this is my favorite scent from the Carol's Daughter line. Also had the Almond Cookie Frappe Body Lotion. Also bought the Almond Cookie Shea Souffle. So I'm going to be smelling like Almond Cookie all throughout the summer. Plus they gave you a free gift of the Manoy Repair Leave-In Conditioner. I love the Manoy Deep Conditioning Mask so I can't wait to try this because I spent the qualifying amount. Um, I received the free gift of a full-size hair milk 
pudding. So all that, it was such a great deal. I just couldn't pass it up. 16% cash back. And then on top of the sale Kara's dollar was having, I knew I had to have it. Last couple of items I have to share with you in this haul come from ColourPop. I picked up the Where the Light Is quad from Kathleen Lights, who is a popular YouTube blogger here. Um, I knew I wanted to have this for when we went on vacation. I haven't swatched any of the shades yet, but they're really gorgeous neutral shades. I had to try one of ColourPop's new highlighters. I picked this up in the shade forgot it has beach in it it is butterfly beach because I thought that this would be really pretty against my skin tone let's take a closer look okay so there's butterfly beach and let's go ahead and give this one a little swatch it's very silky there is the swatch of butterfly beach and I think that is really pretty I also picked up the Super Shock eyeshadow in this metallic shade called Millionaire. It just looked really, really pretty. There is Millionaire. Because I placed this order while ColourPop was celebrating their um, one year anniversary, I got this free shadow in the shade Birthday Girl and it has the special packaging and it looks really pretty. That is ColourPop's Birthday Girl and it says it has a metallic finish. Completes this haul. I really hope that you found this video fun. If you did, please give me the big thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Rocky underscore loves underscore MKP. Let me know what you've been hauling for summer down below, and I'll see you in a video real soon. Love y'all. Bye, guys. <laughs>